bacteria. Yeah. Let me think if there's anything else. Uh, you know, there's a few other things. Choline the, uh, is the B vitamin kind of like substance, something called methionine. You can sometimes get fat absorption aids or, or uh, fat digestion aids as a uh, supplement and, at a health food store, and those are, uh, that's a good idea too. Okay. Anything you can do to improve absorption of fats as well as t using vitamin A in your essential fatty acids. Thank you so much, David. Take Hold care. on. There's one more question I have. Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, I never or very rarely hear you ever address essential oils and spices and herbs. You know why? Well, spices, why? because we, nobody has a spice deficiency. And, and spices are very, very important. Spices are medicines. Herbs are medicines. Weeds, by the way, when you go out and pick your weeds, those are medicines. Those are herbs. Mm -hmm. And in my compounding pharmacy, I used to keep herbs. We used to tincture them. We used to, I used to wildcraft, ethically, of course. Uh, you know, here in Colorado, in the mountains of Colorado, I have a great respect for herbal medicine and for herbs. I'm a pharmacist, and we study herbs. However, nobody has an herb deficiency, and nobody has a spice deficiency. But okay. lots of people have B vitamin deficiency and electrolyte deficiency. So I don't talk about them a lot. And, and essential oils are in the same category. They're medicinal. They're not nutritional. You see okay, the distinction? I was just wondering. Yeah, they're more medicinal. And medicine has its place. You know, I'm a medicine guy. I'm a pharmacist. Mm -hmm. But nutrition is the fundament, and that's really what's missing. Gotcha. Thank hey, we'll you. watch out for them debates tonight. I'm so excited about those. We should talk. I would like to talk some politics sometime. Who, do you have a? Are do you, you have going? somebody? You'll, I, I, you know, I watch for the entertainment value, but I don't believe any of. Any, I don't believe a word any of them say. Trump was I, the most interesting because he seemed. He, he's not honest, by the way. People say he's on. He's not honest. Don't make it. Don't make that is. mistake. I mean, you get to that level, and there's the honesty is the first thing you have to scrap. That's exactly right. You know, there's a really cool book called Confessions of a Sociopath, written by a lawyer. Surprise, right. surprise. And yeah. in, in the book, she have you heard of this book, Confessions of oh, a Sociopath? So she talks about in the book. She talks about how our culture is set up so sociopaths win. So sociopathy is rewarded. So the heads of corporations, uh, po political leaders, they have to be sociopathic in order to win, in order to succeed in our culture. Isn't that fascinating? Yeah. All right, got to go, David. Thank you so much, yeah. man. Bye. Have a great day. Thanks for the kind words, too. Appreciate it. All right, uh, let's see. Carol in Washington, what's up? You are patient. Yes, hi. I patient. wanted to take up where, where I left off yesterday on hypothyroidism, dry mouth, uh, okay. Fukushima radiation, and okay. uh, if I should not be taking extra iodine because the can the thyroid cancer rate in Japan, Jap Japanese uh, children is up 2,500 percent. So you would now would that's you're th you're relating that to iodine supplementation? Yeah. Or? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't. Yeah, because we're supposed to take iodine to take the place of uh, what uh, the radiation goes into your thyroid. I'm not. I'm not sure how you're relating the two, but iodine is an essential nutrient, I and mean, you don't have an option. You got to get your iodine, and the only place to get iodine is in the ocean, from or from fish and, and you know creatures and, and vegetation or that lives in the ocean. What's that? Or a ultimately, all iodine. Ultimately, all I, iodine are, comes from the ocean. It's an it's an ocean mineral. So even if it's drug iodine or, or pharmaceutical iodine like Lugol solution or iodorol, the source of the iodine it, it, it's an element from the ocean. Now there's some in terrestrial, obviously, but th it, the vast majority comes from the ocean. Best way to get your iodine is from ocean foods and vegetation. We do have a little problem because we've trashed our ocean and it's all radioactive, of course. Right. But what are you going to do? Yeah, that's I what I was saying to you, Carol. We <laughs> we poisoned our world. So what are yeah, you going to do? Know. You gotta you gotta do what you have to do. You need iodine. Iodine, and hopefully the selenium and the sulfur and the seaweed will take care of the toxicity. Hopefully. Uh, you know, I don't know why humanity is this way. <laughs> you know, read Michael Tessarian. You know who that is? You ever hear Michael Tessarian? He's got some no, interesting takes. No, but I know takes. there's population controlled by the elite. Yes, so yes, all right. of that. All of that. There's exactly <laughs> well, what I'm saying. So what are you going to do? Can I ask you about... Can I ask you about dry mouth? My, yes, my dry mouth. Dry mouth 24-7. I have it at night. It's a sign your body... Sh it, let me finish. Let me explain here. It's a sign that the body is shutting down. There's actually a commercial now where oh, they say, great. oh, if you're on lots of drugs, you probably have dry mouth. Yes. Dry mouth is a sign the body is shutting down. It's associated with prescription drugs, lots of different prescri prescription drugs. It's associated I take with none. It what's associated with OTC drugs. If you have dry mouth and you're not taking any drugs, then your yes. body's shutting down. Why? Oh, why is it shutting down? I don't know. I don't know you. <laughs> How old are you? 72. Okay. Well, you've had seven decades of, you know, living well, in the United States of America. Well, I've been quite a while, so I'm, I am careful. Okay. I don't even eat out. Well, the dry mouth still is a sign that something is slowing up. Saliva secretion is slowing down. How are your eyes? Do you have issues with the eyes? Tears or anything? No. Are your no dry eye issues? 
No. Okay. Well, if you're not on any medication, because medication is one of the major causes of dry mouth, and by the way, as all marijuana smokers know, that's called cotton mouth, and it's the same idea. Benadryl does the same thing, or over-the-counter drugs do the same thing. What you need to be doing is you need to be uh, figuring out what's going on in your body as a, as a system. There has to be other things. Nobody just has dry mouth. There's something else going on. You've got to find what that is. And then you can start to form a picture. Remember, you've got to collect the dots before you can connect the dots. And in order to form a picture, we need sample points, data points. We got one, and that's dry mouth. What else, Carol? Give me a couple more data points, a couple more things that are happening in your body. Um, well, oh, you get, uh, rust you spots, th- as you call them. <laughs> uh, okay, we're oxidizing a little bit. Give me one more. Um, varicose veins. Okay, now we're talking. Now we got a picture. Varicose veins implies cir- the circulatory system is is the blood and the fluids aren't moving through the circulatory system. There's a general slowing down. So the first thing you got to do is you got to reverse that. You're, you're slowing down. You want to reverse that. The fastest way to reverse that is with deep breathing, and getting on a rebounder. That'll reverse. I've that'll done start. That. We keep doing it every day. You're not doing it enough if you still have okay. the symptoms. You might want to consider one of those inversion machines. That can help move things around as well. Secondly, if there's anything clogging the blood, oxygen and, and getting on a rebounder and an inversion machine can help improve the movement. But if there's anything clogging the blood, remember all disease is dirty blood. All disease is cell disease, and all cell disease is dirty blood disease. That means the blood is clogging up. It's coagulating. That's a sign something's getting in there. That means a digestive issue. So look for digestive issues. Look for anything that, uh, any foods that are related to digestive issues and start eliminating those. Here's the, I got about a minute, Carol. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to tell you and everybody listening how you deal with health challenges. It's very simple, no matter what they are. Number one, you work on your digestive system, eliminating problem foods and using digestive support nutrients, especially probiotics, good bacteria, and enzymes. Number two, you stabilize your blood sugar, restricting your intake of sugar, replacing sugar calories with protein and with fat. And then number three, you deep breathe. Make sure you're practicing oxygenation techniques, all the ones we talk about here on this program, and move the body a little bit and make sure you're relaxing. And that's pretty much it for every single health issue you can name. Of course, nutritional supplementation goes a long way towards making sure you're getting the basic building blocks, the basic raw materials you need to build a body. That's the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Thanks for listening. We'll be back at you tomorrow with more good health information on the Bright Side. Have an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. Bye for now. 